Okay, I got a car in here right now. We're just changing the tire out. My son's out right now, so you may hear him pop in. So, right now, this is this is how I started off. Two fluorescent bulbs is all I needed. I could use four, but that's how it was. So, one, two, and one over here. Three and four fixtures. I have a two switch setup. So, one switch for the back row and one switch for the front row. Um, right now, I just did the back row here, which I'm not turning on because I got the circuit breaker off. Uh, which leads to the next step make sure all the power is out, um, switches off. I got my own breakers here. If you don't have this in your garage, or find the breakers in the uh, in your house um, for that circuit don't work with uh, live circuits so I have those off I have a uh, I have some light here shining on uh, each part I'm working on um, I bought these clippers um, they cut different size wire and all the way at the end they cut the whole wire entirely and I bought these uh, wing twist wire connectors other people call them wire nuts uh, I just needed the yellow and the red ones bought them at Home Depot for about nine bucks came with like 150 they have smaller bags too um, if you want to get precise I just figure I'd future proof myself in case I need them later um, here's the ballast that I pull out they're pretty heavy I thought they're gonna be lighter but if you see, it's like a brick. So you can just imagine all the juice that thing's using along with the fluorescent bulbs you'll have in there. So you're going to be saving a lot of money in different regards, um, changing these out and bypassing them. So for the bulbs itself, for the LED bulbs, that is, I purchased went to Menards, I'm in Chicago, and I bought these, sorry for the low light, uh, got these Sylvania T8, these say T8 or T12 replacement, I don't know about T12, but I got T8, so that's what I went with, 48 inch, and these are, and it's using 17 watts, I went for these because of the lumens. A lot of the other LED linear lights were 1700 and lower. I wanted to match to what I had before as much as possible, and it was around it was around 2200. So I went with these um, ballast free. It says here requires easy bypass with the ballast. So this is what we're doing here in this video. Um, 5000K is perfect for me in the garage. Um, I need a lot of light in here. You see how dark it is uh, when I have the doors closed. Um, in the winters, it's necessary. Um, also, they sell other LED linear bulbs that uh, are plug and play. You do not want those if you're doing this bypass. So, uh, the thing is with those, those require the ballast to be in place and they have to be compatible. Um, with the ballast you got. I tried to plug and play and I don't know why I did that. I already knew the bypass would be better because even if you put those plug and plays in, those ballasts are running for just to keep them on, that's more juice. So while this bulb is using the 17 watts, your ballast is using a certain wattage as well. So it didn't make no sense to me. I wanted to conserve power as much as possible here. So I took those back and I bought these, and these worked perfect. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on here. So first thing I did was replace the bulbs. I mean, sorry, not replace, just take them out in order to access this middle uh, area here, as you can see. And the other one has that shield, and that's the exact shield that I took off here. And then, I just snapped the wires right here closest to the ballast on both sides. 
to gain as much wire length as I may need because I'm not going to use these ballasts anymore. They're pretty much garbage, so I didn't care how close I cut. Same thing goes for the second one. I cut there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these bulbs out. Okay, I got the rest of the bulbs out and I continue cutting the ballasts. As you see, they're standing alone now. I'm going to go after the nut that are there, the screws that are in place, start taking those off so I can get rid of the ballast. So I'm going to do now with my drill. I'm using a 9mm here, but yours may be different, so size them up accordingly. Alright, so on my fixture in particular, I have uh, these tombstones. Um, you'll be uh, hearing the word shunted or non-shunted. Um, shunted is when the, both sides create the same contact, so it passes through. Uh, non-shunted, they're separate contacts. They got different power coming from the uh, separate power from one side going to the other instead of a bridge per se in the middle connecting them. These bulbs that I bought work on shunted or non-shunted as well, so I didn't have to change these out. Um, you can change them out if they're really roasted. Mine seem to be okay, or if they're broken. I had a broken one on my other fixture over there, but I'm only using two bulbs in each fixture, so I just left it. And my next step here, I'm gonna cut these down to size. So these wires, are for the old ballast. I'm just gonna cut them all down to the same size evenly. Um, in single fixture setups, you'll see a black and a white wire. This red, in my case, represents black because I'm. These are all ran in series. I don't know, maybe that's the wrong way to say it, but my black wire runs straight from my breaker over there, straight to the switch over there I showed you earlier. And I'm not touching that because after the switch, I have this red wire coming across acting as the black wire. So if you see me cutting these and you're probably confused as I was, everyone's cutting black wires. Um, the red is the same as the black. It's just uh, it's passing through the red so that it'll work with the switch. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut. All right, so I cut all the old ballast cables down to size evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and strip off the tips so I could put the wire nuts in place. Same thing with the other side here. Now, for the circuit wires, um, you need to, you're gonna need to pick a side. Here, I'm gonna use this red one, which in case of other people is probably black. And connect to all of these right here with a bigger wire nut. This one's too small. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna run all the way to the other side to those and connect them all with another wire connector. Um, I may have to bridge a gap here, but I have enough cable when I cut. I'm just gonna use another white cable to stretch this one out and connect to the other side. And that's it. Okay, so I just finished uh, connecting all the wires. Here are the old ballast cables. I went ahead and cut them evenly and stripped off the tips. And then this is the um, extension I put in from the white cable on the other side. Uh, I had an extra spool of white cable just to keep uh, same color coordination going on here. Um, I put on the red tip, just put them on there, give it a little twist by by hand on the connection on the wires itself, and then I went ahead and uh, put these guys on until it got real tight. And then uh, over here, same thing with the red wire coming through the conduit. Over here, twist this on once until it's really tight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop the bulbs in for testing. Another thing to note here on, on these bulbs that I bought, uh, one side says N for neutral, and 
the other side says L for live. So in this case, uh, neutral is the white wire, which I have running this way. So I'm going to install it with the neutral side to the left. And the live side is that red wire. Um, either red wire or black uh, is the live wire L. And then uh, also these lamps came with, um, these bulbs, I mean, came with a sticker. There you go. So after you do the bypass, whoever tries to work on the fixture later knows what you just did. And here's the sticker I'm going to be putting on that came with each bulb. And there's the model of the, the bulbs I purchased. Okay, moment of truth. I just went ahead and powered up the circuit on my breaker box. I'm about to hit the switch. Voila. There's light. Uh, you can see my fluorescents are uh, flickering. These things are ready to go out. Um, here you go. Working like a champ. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the other ones. There you go. Beautiful light. It's nothing like LED. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up, put in the other bulb, and put in the little uh, cover in between. So installing these, uh, these tubes and even taking them off. You just put it in an angle from one side to the other side and it'll just slide right in there to where you want it. And then uh, with those two prongs at the end, you just slide it into that tombstone like that. And then same thing with the other side until it just pops right in there. Then you simply twist. These bulbs come with a sticker, so keep the sticker on the back side twist just like that you're done then uh, let me get down here so for all the motion and let me go ahead and hit the breaker over here that's on now go ahead and hit the switch ma'am I got two lights. It's pretty bright. Sorry, guys, but just want to show you how it glows there. And I went ahead and put my sticker in the middle. I probably can't see it without this light. But um, it's right there in the middle. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue on to the other one, but it's all the same for the rest. Again, I have uh, four fixture system here and um, with two switches. So... That's how my setup was and thought I'd share that with everyone else since it was pretty uh, difficult figuring mine out um, since I'm not a professional electrician or anything like that and uh, wanted to do these things right and saw a couple wires there that kind of confused me and I uh, wanted to do it right. All right, guys, so all said and done, I have uh, the bulbs working here. Sorry for the brightness of it but the stickers right in the middle so whoever works on it sees it right away and uh that's pretty much it i still got the other one to do but um it's pretty much the same same process so uh thanks for watching uh if you have any questions or comments go ahead and uh put them in i'll check them out get back to you as soon as i can and I uh, thought I'd give back to the YouTube community as uh, I'm a big DIYer. No, no means I'm a professional or anything like that. But um, definitely YouTube is a big, uh, big help and thought I'd give back. All right, guys. Take care.